Good morning, everybody. Um, it is super early, almost dreadfully so. <laughs> uh, it's actually 6 a.m. and I have to walk over to um, the area where we're going to get picked up to go on this sunrise excursion to a botanical garden. On any other day, I probably wouldn't do something so early, um, but on this Kando trip, with the opportunity to actually like do a photo walk with photographers and people that I can learn from and to learn more about uh, these cameras, uh, these alpha cameras, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take advantage. Um, and I'm also very surprised that I'm actually awake. It's a nice brisk early morning. I never do stuff like this. And I'm gonna pat myself on the back for actually making the effort. Morning. Morning. Good morning. Is this morning. The botanical garden crew. Yes. yes. Excellent. <laughs> We're here so early it almost feels like we're trespassing. <laughs> Our guide also has like a flashlight to like figure out where she is as we, I'm gonna say, <laughs> practically break into the welcome center. <laughs> we officially have sunrise. A uh, very peaceful morning here and it is peaceful. We have a creek right here. Um, there's actually a lot of um, uh, Tibetan Buddhist um, items and inspired areas here. Um, so clearly there's a little bit of Asian influence that's, hap that's happening here. But the area I'm standing in particularly makes you introspective because there's this sign that's right here that says, dog bless this garden. Sounds really cute as a, as a phrase, but right here there are memorials, little plaques for people to remember pets that they've had that have passed away. probably worth me talking about why I chose this camera body and this lens for this particular let's say test or photo walk or in my case video walk I mean I'm a video guy mostly um, well main reason is because I wanted to try something very different uh, not only is this an alpha camera and I don't usually use alpha cameras I also am not a big zoom person I think I said this in the previous vlog um, so I figured just like back home where I would go to the Arboretum or to the Huntington Gardens and bring the um, all-purpose kit that I would use for anything including my tech reviews and all of that here on my channel one lens one camera one mic and let's see what we can get and you know what since I'm very new to alpha cameras, I'm not overcomplicating things. Like I am dialing in some of the settings, but everything here is just set to standard as far as color is concerned. I'm not gonna try the S-Log just yet. Uh, I don't even really do log footage normally. Uh, and while I would dial in the colors in camera, I'm just gonna let it kind of take care of everything for me. <laughs> right here on the lawn. This is actually really cool. You have basically a robot lawnmower? I am mowing, please do not touch. It says right there on the thing. That's awesome. <laughs> I actually find this really cool. <laughs> it's the first time I've ever seen something like that and it makes perfect sense, doesn't it? Kind of cool that a botanical garden like this is uh, outfitted with that kind of smart tech. It's always fun to just walk around, get shots, pictures, videos, whatever the case may be. And I know that for somebody like me, everything that I shoot I always feel like it has to go up somewhere. It always has to have some sort of function, especially on YouTube or social media or anything like that. Um, but it's funny, one of the quirks about this whole situation, uh, I'm over here vlogging, it's all gonna go up on YouTube and whatnot. So I'm basically taking video of what the other people are doing correctly, which is using this as a photo walk and just taking a bunch of really cool photos of like the environs and 
the flowers and whatnot. So it's, it's funny, like I'm the vlogger in a sea of photographers. <laughs> That's not to say I'm not gonna try my hand at photography. I'm using the right camera for the job. The a7 IV is more of a hybrid camera, which means that um, the megapixel cam provides a little bit more for photographers, uh, but you are still able to get great video like you've been seeing in this uh, piece so far. We've got some uh, TP action over here from a Tibetan prayer wheel now over to a teepee over here. It's, it's, a, it's an interesting botanical garden, but plenty of subjects to shoot. More than anything, this is just a very peaceful, a very nice way to start the morning. I don't wake up early like this usually, but I could see myself doing it more often if it means just going somewhere nice, getting my mind right, just enjoying what's around me. All right. Now, if I'm being honest, stabilization could use a little bit of work here. Just the standard stabilization, mainly because I'm so used to the fantastic in-body stabilization of like my Panasonic cameras. But it's uh, working pretty well in the pitch. Thing is, I'm going to walk into the gear area right now so that I can change out lenses. I want to try a couple of other things for a couple of meetings that I have coming up. All right, there you go. I have decided to change it up. We are now on the 16 to 35 f4. This is the power zoom, though. So I got this toggle over here, and I can zoom right in using it, power zooming, no telescopic, so it keeps things pretty nice and compact. However, the other reason why I wanted to go with this lens for the whole vlogging bit is because at the wide end of 16 millimeters, when you turn on the active stabilization, the crop is not going to be quite so severe. I can still have the wide angle here. And honestly, at f4, it's not too bad as far as aperture and shallow depth of field are concerned. Uh, still, things are going to look pretty nice in the background. f4, probably the farthest that I will go as far as aperture, maybe f5.6, uh, but yes, nothing really above that unless I really need to. Still want to have good shallow depth of field. Okay, I'm gonna need that. Definitely want to get this. And might as well get this as well. Hello friends. Good morning. How are you doing? Doing all right. Uh, I I come with a request as well. <laughs> yes, let's get it. So whatever you want, but not too yeah. So blue and not. All right, coming from the flat lay, we have this ticket, which gets me one of these special edition hoodies. There it is. That's the one hoodie with the camera, which may be me in the very near future. <laughs> Welcome to aha moment number, I don't know, two, three. The first one I know was because of the microphone, the ECMB10, uh, which goes right into the hot shoe, makes vlogging really easy because you don't have to worry about audio or anything, just toggle a few things and then just go. And then putting the 16 to 35 F4 power zoom on here and then turning on active stabilization. Look how much more stable all the footage is. Aha moment for sure. Uh, but yeah, that is uh, that was one of the prizes. I made sure to get this hoodie. I definitely wanted it. It's very comfy. Uh, the other hoodie had somebody doing the same pose as this, but they had like a like a man bun or a ponytail or something like that. That's from a previous life. I did used to rock that hairstyle, but I figured I would go with this uh, mainly because it's a blue hoodie, not a black one. I have enough black hoodies. Okay, we're in Idaho. So, what's the first thing you think of? when you come to Idaho. Shawarma, right? <laughs> no? Porados. Oh, potatoes, yes. Porados. Potatoes. We're thinking about porados. Potatoes grandes. Yes. And we have one. You gonna focus? Yeah. It's a potato, dude. It's, it's a potato. Yeah. Do I like it because I'm in Idaho? Sure. But it's a porado. It's really all it's it is. It's a local. It's a local potato. It's a local potato. <laughs> it did not have Eat to like the locals. <laughs> Either one. Can you no. modify it at all? So this is where Thunder E takes it with the video. But I don't use the viewfinder. 
Is it Vanessa you know Gala is here. Yeah. And my people, welcome. You. you can already see in my reaction there, it's probably no surprise that I cut maybe one or two things out from this upcoming rant from Colonel Singala. To yeah. my guys' video here, we are talking about... What are we talking about? Uh, just vlogging. So this, this is a vlog. So this is a vlog. <laughs> This is where I talk about how sexy I am. Very beautiful. Get out. Just move. Move out of the picture. Thank you, eh? Mr. Fisher. I don't. I don't deal with the African dictators at all. No. See, don't mind this guy. Yeah, he has taking my money. He's not paying me back. That's the problem. Then my guy here, TK. No, TK. No, TK is a very smart dude. People don't know it. This guy is sharp, meticulous, and great. Anyway, right now we're eating a vegetarian lunch. I don't like it. You know, potato is good. You know, it's very starchy. You know, strong, you know, give you vitality and vibrance. Sorry about that. <laughs> yep. And what's the other one? Um, oh, man. But Black How freaking cool is that? It is so perfect. Of the many things you can do at the Kando Trip seminars and panels are one of them. And we sat in on one in particular where a lot of creators talked about how they pitched their projects to, let's say, investors or even to the people that they wanted to work with. I am not the only one that wanted to try out this lens. This one right there. Yeah. Wide angles for vlogging. Again, it's been a long time since I vlogged this easily and honestly this happily <laughs> it's been it's a good, good time now you know why i do it. exactly <laughs> sony <laughs> remember how i said i had a couple of meetings that i wanted to use some other lenses on well as it turns out the 16 to 35 f4 power zoom ended up being the one lens that i used for the main meeting i had which was a briefing on the sony xperia 5 mark 4. I did get some hands-on time with it, I am waiting for my review units, but I did post about it a couple of times over on my Instagram via Reels. Top level thoughts, it's a great powerful compact phone that is definitely geared towards creators, which means it makes a lot of sense for somebody like me, but maybe it doesn't make a lot of sense for some of you that might be watching. The rest of the night was our dinner, which included a gondola ride. Is that really the term that we're supposed to use? A cable car or whatever the case may be, where we went up one of the main mountains near the Sun Valley Resort. All right, here we go. Ah! It's gonna wobble. Hell yeah, baby. Ah, uh, the Northrop's could have joined us. Yeah. Lee, Look at that. and there's no snow. Lee, there's no snow to fall. We about to die. <laughs> <laughs> Lee. Uh, oh, look at that view though. Nice. Blurry as window furniture. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> Who buys you though? That's it's, nice. That's yeah, pretty. It's, it's, the scenery was absolutely stunning. Obviously, Sony brought us out here to shoot some awesome photos and videos, and that's exactly what we were able to do at the top of that cable car ride. But Sony had a bunch of professionals up there, not only the photographers themselves, but the models, the professional models that they had up there to shoot. With all of these lighting rigs and everything, even if it was broad daylight out, they still had their lighting to create dramatic shots that you could see on Instagram. They are stunning photos. Maybe the next aha moment is the fact that I was using the camera as a vertical shooter. Maybe I have to rotate it 90 degrees, but with this lens combo, I can have the good autofocus while still having stabilization that is, let's say, good enough. Definitely enough for me to be able to use it more regularly. Day three and thus the final vlog of the candle trip would be even better. So stay tuned for that by subscribing to my channel. If you're a Sony fan and you haven't seen the first vlog from the candle trip, you're definitely going to want to click the video that is appearing right now. But I'm going to go ahead and call it on this video. Thank you so much for watching and for hanging out with me again today. Please take care of yourselves and each other. I'll see you in the final candle trip vlog and enjoy your tea, everybody.